eloquence. Public speaking was not exactly a strong suit. Fluency in English, President Bush once remarked, is something that I'm often not accused of. <laughs> Looking ahead to the 88 election, he observed, inarguably, it's no exaggeration to say that the undecideds could go one way or the other. And late in his presidency, he allowed that we're enjoying sluggish times, but we're not enjoying them very much. <laughs> his tongue may have run amok at moments, but his heart was steadfast. His life code, as he said, was tell the truth, don't blame people, be strong, do your best, try hard, forgive, stay the course. And that was and is the most American of creeds. Abraham Lincoln's better angels of our nature and George H.W. Bush's thousand points of light are companion verses in America's national hymn. For Lincoln and Bush both called on us to choose the right over the convenient, to hope rather than to fear, and to heed not our worst impulses, but our best instincts. In this work, he had the most wonderful of allies in Barbara Pierce Bush, his wife of 73 years. He called her Bar, the Silver Fox, and when the situation warranted, the Enforcer. He was the only boy she ever kissed. Her children, Mrs. Bush liked to say, always wanted to throw up when they heard that. In a letter to Barbara during the war, young George H.W. Bush had written, I love you, precious, with all my heart, and to know that you love me means my life. How lucky our children will be to have a mother like you. And as they will tell you, they surely were. As Vice President, 